So if you're a creator and you use Adobe Premiere Pro, you might be interested in this new Premiere plugin called Audio Cut. Simply what it does is it analyzes all of your footage and it cuts out all of the pauses within your speaking portions of your video. So I don't usually like to do this because I like to cover up any jump cuts with B-roll, but I know a lot of YouTubers out there don't really mind the jump cuts and they just cut out every single pause and break to really kind of speed up the motion and keep the flow going within the video. So this is a new plugin. In a second, we'll jump into Premiere and I'll show you how it works. But what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna talk to you and I'm gonna leave some pauses in and then we're gonna play that back and then we'll use this same bit of footage now uh, to bring into Premiere and see how the plugin works. Okay, so. So this is gonna be a test of how Audio Cut works within Adobe Premiere Pro. So this could be good maybe if you're a creator that creates a lot of content and maybe you wanna to stop to look at notes or you want to think for a second and you want the editing process to be as quick and as simple as possible. Well, how well will Audio Cut work on this piece of footage? Let's put it in Premiere Pro and try it out. So once you install Audio Cut, just click the setup option and follow the instructions until it's fully installed. Then if you have Premiere Pro open, just make sure you restart it. Once it's open, go to Window at the top and then go down to extensions, and then it should be here. Just open it and you're ready to go. So like I said earlier, we're using this clip. So all you have to do is select the audio clip and it will automatically select all the gaps within the clip. Now you have three steps that you can play around with. Now we've tested this out a couple of times now and what we've learned is that it's best to pretty much keep step one and two at the default settings. You can change them around if you like, but with this example, these work perfectly. We only really tend to play around with step three. Step three either shortens or extends the gaps between each pause. So check here, as I move the slider down, it extends the amount it will cut, and then when I move it up, it shortens it. So just play around with this until you have it at a good point. You can use these arrows at the bottom here to check through the whole clip. Change the slider if it decides to cut out some speech, as you can see here. Now, there you go. This looks pretty good. All you have to do is just click cut. Okay, so let's play it through. So this is gonna be a test of how Audio Cut works within Adobe Premiere Pro. So this could be good, maybe if you're a creator that creates a lot of content and maybe you wanna to stop to look at notes or you want to think for a second and you want the editing process to be as quick and as simple as possible. Well, how well will Audio Cut work on this piece of footage? Let's put it in Premiere Pro and try it out. And there we go, I think it cut it really nicely. If you play this over some nice background music, I think it hides the cut even better. Personally, I think it could be a little more accurate as I would like the cut to almost be immediate when I do jump cuts. However, with a few minor adjustments, I think it could save you an extreme amount of time if you're a content creator that uses a lot of jump cuts in your videos. Okay, so there you go. What did you think of that? Were you impressed with those results? If you wanna check out that plugin, uh, I'll put a link in the description below. I just thought we would post this video. It's not a paid review or a sponsored post. It's just something that's a little bit different, a little bit unique, and we like to share things that may help creators out there. So let me know what you thought of that, and I'll see you in the next video.